Well, it appears the first performance benchmarks of NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 2070 graphics cards has been leaked. The results come from none other than Tomb Apisac and were obtained using a custom model from Zotac, which features slightly higher clock speeds than the reference variant. The benchmark results posted by the source aren't very clear since it only displays the overall score and not the individual graphics score. The system was configured with a Core i7-8700K and Zotac GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card with a reported clock speed of boosting to 1950 MHz. The overall score was 1,851 points for the entire system as mentioned. There are, and as mentioned, there are no individual scores provided since the benchmark is hidden. The interesting part is that the GeForce GTX 1080 with the same GPU scores around 7,500 points in 3D Mark Time Spy. The Core i7-8700K used here is clocked at 3.7 GHz, which is the base clock of the CPU, so it wasn't overclocked and not affecting in a higher overall benchmark score. The GeForce RTX 2070 use is supposed to be a factory overclock model, so the performance can be expected to be slightly better with the new card compared to the Pascal-based GeForce GTX 1080. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 features the TU-106 GPU core, which comprises of 2,304 CUDA cores on NVIDIA's 12 nanometer FinFET architecture, allowing for higher core count while retaining faster clock speeds, which we have already seen on Pascal cards. The chip houses a 10.6 billion transistor count, which is a nice jump compared to the 7.2 billion transistors found in Pascal's GP104 GPU. The actual clock speeds are maintained at 1410 MHz base and a 1620 MHz boost up to 1710 MHz OC models. The chip features 8GB of GDDR6 memory featured across a 256-bit bus with clocked at 14 gigabits per second. This leads to a total bandwidth of 448GB per second. So there we have it right now as things stand for, well, this very moment. The uh, leak apparently shows it a little bit faster than the GTX 1080, so somewhere right along the lines of what most people were expecting to see. I'd like to hear your opinion on this. Do you think this is good, bad, indifferent, or, well, quite honestly, are you just waiting to see some RTX features show up in games? I mean, it's kind of what they're made for, and until we have the games for it, it's really just a slightly faster card than last generation with a nice little price increase. Love to hear your thoughts on this one down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next one.